and we're live. <laughs> so, I don't know how to start, but uh, I gotta tell you if you already don't know that uh, the famous actor, Paul Walker, has died a couple of hours ago. It's been almost a day since this sad moment and uh, I'm still in shock me and my friend and what we're gonna make in this what we're gonna actually do in this video is uh, recording a cruising in Pesava Unity 2 in memoriam of uh, Paul Walker and uh, as you can see on the trunk of on the trunk of my friend's skyline <coughs> Brian's from Fast and Furious favorite car. If you can actually see, it says "Rest in Peace, Paul Walker." I'm uh, driving uh, a Nissan G GTR from Fast and Furious 6, and uh, we hope you will enjoy our video. Let's start. Let's go. This can be happening, I mean, that's... I have no words for this. Yeah, it's a bit less. Well... I will explain you how I felt this morning when I opened my computer and say that, and said that, I saw that. I saw actually a post on Facebook which said something about uh, an actor who died, an actor for hope who died. And uh, you know, the, the Facebook is plenty of, is full of shit sometimes and I just clicked the link hoping that I didn't know that actor that uh, did something messy around and uh, when I opened that link I saw that uh, I saw his picture, Paul Watson's picture, from a famous Fast and Curious movie, and I just started to cry very bad because you know it's it's been and it actually is and will be a model in my life, my favorite actor. And I felt, you know, pretty shocked about it. It's kind of scary when you see things like this. You get attached with people very much. And yeah. I heard that... Uh he was killed in a car accident. It's the uh, irony that uh, has been driven plenty of cars and even put a step wrong. And now he got killed by one of them. A Porsche Carrera GT supercar, not even a tuned one. I also heard that uh, it wasn't his fault, that's getting more crazy about the story that one of his friends killed him, made a mistake and I don't actually know why he had done that but you know these things are really freaking you out
It's not fair. A lot of bad people are still alive and the good ones die yeah. so easily. Yes, 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 very true. As he was saying every time, go big or go home. I'm not sure if this craziness called his life threatened, actually threatened his life. We now we don't know what was the cause of his accident, but the most important thing is that he passed out and. He's not with us anymore. There's plenty of cars here. So today first of December was a really nasty day full of bad sentiment feelings and it's just really hard to Imagine that good people like him and other actors are like, dying like this. I mean, he hadn't had any problems with the law. He had a wife and a child, and I seriously don't want to know what's in her daughter's soul right now. It must be hard. I mean, it's hard for us, and we don't know him personally, but for her. It's we, devastating. Yes, we can imagine what is in mind. It's, it's in her mind, but it's hard. It's hard to, to look at this, at this. I don't know what, this accident and be just uh, another actor died. No, it's not another actor. It's Paul Walker. It's been, it's been acting in, in hundreds of movies and so on. And especially in our favorite series, the Fast and Furious. And you just can't be like other people and say, "Oh man, he just died from an unconsciousness." And like this, it's very different. It's, he wasn't doing drugs or anything like this, like many other actors. He was clean. Why uh, regret so much already? We also respect him so much. And uh, this video and other couple, a couple of pictures which I've done, uh, I've edited today actually. It's for him and uh, because I respect him, I respect his, his life and I'm still respecting his life. I don't know, it's just speechless. So that Porsche career GT after the accident struck flames all around and I've actually saw a reportage on BBC News and CNN and that uh, showed us uh, that the a couple of people a couple of, of uh, People that saw the, the incident just run away from his car on that mess because I just have to 
tell you guys that in Romania people from here wouldn't have done that. They would help him even if they actually put their life into hard mood to a bad position to warning eventually. But uh, here in Romania you know people are different from USA. They would have helped you. Mm, I'm not so sure. I mean, yeah, it would been good to help him, but um, not the car. like in America. I know, just looking at the car, just throwing flames all around and uh, say, "Oh my God, it's one dead person over there," and let's just get the fuck out of here. Yeah, you're right, but... At least but call the police, call the ambulance quickly. I heard that the ambulance came out of nowhere after 30 minutes, and that's not the... very appropriate action for the, the situation. They didn't even know that the poor worker was in that car after they actually realized his body lying. I know you may disagree with me, but at least in Romania, God damn it, I just that At least in Romania, there is something in our soul that you have told us that we must do something to help him at least calling the ambulance much earlier trying to give a give some help unbelievable what it's unbelievable everything yeah yeah it's still shocking I'm still being in shock with this with this new a couple of seconds I mean not even a not second can change second. your life yeah can change everyone's life. and unforgettable and of course unrepeatable just, you know, I just saw a picture with uh, Paul's, Paul's face after he's dead. I don't want to see it again. It just scared the fuck out of me. It's... What I observed in the picture is that um, he isn't burned. I mean, the car was on fire and... Uh... I heard that he was clean about after the proper accident that he had. Uh -huh. And uh, that was really his face after it works. You know what I say, it may be fake, it may be also that it was on an important website when I read it and I don't know what I should say. I this morning I thought it was I was actually in a, in a nightmare. Because I couldn't even read again that that article with the accident it's being so unpleasant to read that kind of news it won't be the same Fast and Furious family won't be the same without him. And I don't know what they will, will, they are gonna do with the movie, the latest movie from the series, Fast and Furious 7. The last post of Paul Walker's, Paul Walker's on Facebook was related to 
the fact that they had met a family well, from the past, past, and, past and Furious family has met again and uh, they were gonna record another proper chapter of the movie, the Fast 7 movie. And uh, now I heard that they have to change the scenario by actually killing him in the movie. This can be possible, I mean. You know that in the middle of the movie, Paul Walker is gonna be dead. Paul Walker does know as uh, Brian Connor. And that's unpleasant. It's go to the cinema after the release of the movie and say oh my god I just don't want to see this movie but I will do the respect for the respects I had for Paul and Fast and Furious family and that's all it's all over it won't be happening again whoa and family will be disappeared. The situation sucks. I mean, he he wasn't even driving the car, and uh, yeah, he was being killed. Actually, I um, shouldn't say that, but yeah, that's the story. He got killed by another friend. Who... This it was friend... an accident. He didn't. I mean, yeah, he didn't want to, but. Uh... No, it was his fault. He was driving the car. He was, I don't know, maybe over speeding in that area. And of course, it was over speeding. I mean, you saw the car. Yeah. Burst and in flames and being yeah. halfway caught. Yeah, actually, the Porsche Carrera GT was released in 2003. We actually appeared in Need for Speed most, most Wanted, the first series. And yeah, it is and will be a supercar even if it's not produced anymore. Maybe that's the life, maybe. It's not fair at all what happened today, uh, yesterday. Something so little like a tree can devastate you and even kill you. Yeah, that's true. I heard that the one who was driving the car was uh, a, actually a pilot. A driver, professional, experienced driver. one. Uh, he met Paul. I don't know, six years ago, at the Pirelli contest. And that's more strangely because uh, the fact that being a pilot 
and the driver actually and having an accident with a supercar. It's something strange in the middle of the story. But who knows, only God can judge us. Only God can judge him now. All we want to say is that we regret him so much and we're still in shock. We also would like to send our condolences to um, the family of Paul Walker, his yes. daughter, which... Uh, it's been such a yeah. tremendous and scary moment now. No, I should feel such a pain. Okay. Yeah, I just read that he posted on Facebook or Twitter, I don't know, maybe Twitter, that uh, he just can't realize that it happened. It's just speechless. I don't know how she can feel right now. He's feeling the pain, the real hard pain. That's nasty, but it's nasty for every one of us, especially by being from a family. And our even our friends die, and we feel bad. Very fine, very fine situation. This accident, accidents should be a uh, warning for every driver. I mean, all right, you want to drive um, fast and uh, put your life in danger. All right, drive um, oh, without any, yeah, without any passenger. Yeah. When you have passenger, keep it Just keep legal, it safe, and yeah, uh, obey the laws of the road. Fasten your seat belts. <laughs> well, that's. 200 miles per hour yeah, seen, but that's what way been. too much for, for California even for California and we're at the other countries, countries. and uh, I don't know if you saw that people that the tree he had been crashed in didn't even broke up well, he, the car hit it, it uh, hit it uh, uh, with uh, uh, its side and... Uh, yeah, its side, yeah. Yeah. And it just got into pieces. Yeah. A similar accident happened in um, Romania three days ago. Something, uh, but uh, the speed was a lot lower. Of course. Uh, around uh, 100 kilometers per hour. Yeah, 60 miles. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, uh, an experienced driver with his friend uh, were in a BMW and uh, they crashed into a street pole. Oh, on the one. Yeah, I don't know what, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, they I saw were. That. I saw that. Yeah, they were participating in a street uh, race and uh, uh, an experience I heard the driver was also uh, drunk well. <clears throat> that's bad news yeah. especially when you're driving while you're drunk yeah also and when you have no experience it's yeah but the fact is that Paul Walker had a lot of experience yeah. behind him and also the driver, I mean, he was a racer, yeah. he was a yeah. experienced driver. He wasn't just a simple person, you don't know what the clutch is and so on. It happens, accidents. Yeah. Shit happens all the time, but this is just unfair. Yeah, His life is. was unfair this time, he deserved to live hell of a lot more and I don't know if 
he had a star on on that uh, alley in the uh, United States. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, we'll check that out after a couple of minutes. The world is cruel, but... This wasn't supposed to happen to him. Yeah, and I heard that uh, he was going to an um, yeah, 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 to fundraising yeah, yeah, campaign or something. Yeah, to help people who to help people who had problems with money and uh, you know this type of um, of Thanksgiving like. Sounds bad. Yeah. Why this happened? But as I as I said earlier, he is dead and that's the most important thing. He will never be the same. Never be with us. He will not be driving anymore. He will not su surprise us anymore with his famous movies and the, he was we must admit that he was a good actor. Yeah, it was my favorite actor actually. Yeah, nice. Vin Diesel posted on Twitter today that uh, I quote, "Brother, uh, we I will miss you very much." Uh, brother. Angel race to the heaven and we will be missing you or something like that. So, no, he was actually like his brother in the latest Fast and Furious movies. Look at the moon on the right side. Overtake me. Alright. Why? Alright, I said. Oh, okay. Alright or left? Uh, oh. Right. Left. Okay, okay. Yeah, right. We're going to the airport, which is gonna be our final destination for this movie. Silence over there. Yeah. I'm not going over here. I'm just wondering if there are any any people. If there is any group of people in Romania. Oh my God! That's fucking retarded traffic. Yeah, and <clears throat> it's. I don't think it's going to kill you. <laughs> 
That's why you should drive okay. in a safe yeah. manner and with a safe speed because you don't know what the other driver is going to do and uh, yeah, have to there be might be a possibility caution. that the other drivers are drunk or on drugs or doing drugs eventually, yeah. especially in America, but uh, this wasn't his case actually, he just... Uh, the pilot was just uh, over speeding and that caused their death. Both of them died in the accident. Yeah. High speed should keep should be keep on the um, rally and uh, not yeah. on the street. Another organized uh, championships left here. Yeah. That happens when you speed, when you have yeah. speed. <laughs> yeah. You don't have time to react or maybe braking in some cases, <laughs> but you just can, you can react to this possibility, to this situation. At this speed, you just can do anything. A yeah. couple of milliseconds can kill you. Like he used to say in uh, the Fast and Furious uh, series, ride or die. Yeah, ride or die. That's and his favorite quote. Yeah. And I think it's um, it's better to live um, your life in a way that you love it and uh, yeah, it doesn't matter if it's dangerous because you are enjoying it and. I think that's what he did. And um, yeah. And well, as you can see, yeah. <laughs> couple of couple centimeters of, can yeah. Of of roading can send you out of this world. Yeah, poor worker is dead. And I just can get this thing. <sighs> why him? I mean, why? Why the hell did this happen? No, a lot of criminals are alive and yeah, good people and are. are still free, that's... Yeah. yeah. That's strange. Well... It was a mistake. One yeah. mistake. Actually, you can make a mistake a hundred times, a thousand times, but some... some... where, somehow, some when... One mistake can take your life away. Get you in a coffin under six feet on the ground, and that's it. You can do anything about it. The life is the most precious thing we have. And yeah, and I don't see why a lot of people commit suicide. I mean, all yeah. right, you are unhappy, but you can change it. Yeah, 
everything can be changed in this world, especially your happiness, people. Exactly. You don't have to be fooled to change this, you don't have to commit suicide. You don't have to hang yourself over the balcony. You be trapped. Yeah, and when you commit suicide, you just don't get out of this world. I mean, a lot of people remember you and uh, yeah. Your it's just, hard for them. Yeah. I, I do remember that uh, I do remember that uh, last summer. Oh my God, read Brian. You can see now a message in the chat that says, "Yeah, pressing read Brian." Yeah, that's that's incredible. We're just driving and. Nobody is knowing, actually, nobody knows that we actually drive here and recording that and they said to rest in peace, Brian. Yeah, everyone every is. Now you can see how popular and how respected was him. horrible. I think it's horrible. Let's go. Alright. What's his car? Uh, here's a... Um, uh, oh my god, it's... A custom mod oh, and... Uh, okay. It looks <laughs> terrific. <laughs> Uh, oh, he has, the, he has the unofficial patch, yeah. 0 0.3 and, yeah. 0 0.3? Yeah, 0.3b, yeah. Oh, I had to... Yeah, I'll download it later too, but... Taking without any caution, caution, you may lead to an accident. Yeah, and remember, even 60 miles per hour can kill you. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You just have to be. You just have to be careful when you drive, especially when when, when you're over speed. Yeah. at the airport we will uh, we will do a high speed uh, run the last high speed run for him in the Moriam of four walkers it's 
gonna be tough. I didn't actually want to say that it's the last one, but it's the truth. Rest in peace, Brian. Rest in peace, Paul Walker. Rest in peace, Fast and Furious family. It was one of the best movie series I've ever seen. And uh, that makes it even harder to accept that he's dead. We just must not, we must not blame the pilot and driver for... It's not his fault, I mean, it can yeah. happen to everyone. Yeah. A couple of inches, a couple of... Seconds, a couple of milliseconds. Yeah. And the and that just got knocked out the door when it comes when it comes and asks you, ah, okay, Brian, you want to die? No. Yeah, I don't. Wish it could be that. Possibly. Just drive legal and safe when you have passengers. Yeah, and it's not about the driving; it's about everything. You. The life is a precious thing, you must not do drugs, you must not smoke, you must not drink a lot. You must <laughs> drink a lot. <laughs> a lot. And let's just make it for Brian, one top speed driving, the latest one, and the last one. <clears throat> Rest in peace. Paul Walker and we want to send our condolences to his family, to his friends, to everyone he knew, who he knew and everything. <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable. Yeah. I'm doing 230 miles already. You can see the speed. I mean this is in the place when you can do it, but not in the city in California, not in Los Angeles. That's insane. say goodbye it's even hard to say goodbye to a friend not saying to in life yeah. I don't know what I, he felt in, the, in his last moments of being a human well at least he drove he drove he died with uh, a smile on his face yeah, I mean. he said that uh, in a quote that uh, wish if he dies in an act in a car accident by over speeding uh, we must not cry afterwards because he died smiling and that's really emotional yeah another video my friend's trunk says rest in peace Paul Walker we're gonna end this this cruising here it's it's just difficult to say goodbye to Brian and everything he has done yeah. Yeah. It's, it's hard so, we hope 
something, someone over there will appreciate our our gift for our last gift for Brian, and uh, we. She has absolutely all my respects, and I'm sure also your respect. Yeah. And everyone's respect. Everyone who watched his movie. And he deserves it. I mean, he helped the ones from. Uh, the ones have uh, problems with money and yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we'll have to end this this recording now. It's hard. We'll end by saying a quote for from from Brian's life. Ride or die. Die. Goodbye everyone, have a nice week up ahead and rest in peace Brian. Bye bye.